Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your weekly love reading for November 13th through November 19th. Now, I have to let you know that this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading, okay? This is a general reading for a general population. So some of it may resonate, some of it may not, okay? This is for the week of November 13th through November 19th. Time is fluid. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only gonna shuffle it for not very much longer. If you wanna know more about me, you can check out my welcome video. Or you can watch my Let's Talk episodes that will go on nearly nightly. You can find some of them on my channel. I will zoom this in once I get the cards laid out. Well, Taurus had this card too. You know, some of you might be connected to a Taurus. We have Taurus here, Taurus here, and Taurus got this card too. Could be a Taurus, could be a Virgo, could be a Capricorn, but I just did do the Taurus reading, so I just want to let you guys know they also had this card too. And this card. And this card for the different deck. But anyway, and this card. So there's, a, there's definitely some similarities. Uh, maybe it's just a general energy for everybody. We'll see how it goes. Um, anyhow, um, the basis of your reading is the Nine of Pentacles. This is being grateful for all that you have this week. I think many of you are probably feeling very good, okay? Something has probably happened that makes you feel great, as a matter of fact. You're probably feeling grateful, very content with where you're at. I think you've persevered through something that was probably, um, bringing you some fear and some doubt but you've overcame it. So you definitely have persevered. Your hard work, your perseverance, your perseverance and your um, strength has paid off, okay? I think that your patience, the fact that you didn't quit, you remained positive, you did what you had to do, now it's paid off and I think that your reward is here. And I think most of your reward isn't, um, isn't um, tangible okay I think the reward is is intangible even though there's pentacles here I think the reward is something bigger than that okay I feel like um, there could be new love or a resurgence of a relationship coming in but I tend to believe it's new love with this fool connected to this love it's a new beginning so I believe and it could come in very quickly you could be having feelings that um, you didn't expect to have, especially with the lover's card here. There could be a new unexpected um, feeling of love for somebody, somebody who isn't your, your usual type, okay? Somebody who doesn't fit your usual partner, all right, in any way. Perha but it could lead to a commitment because we have that four of wands right next to it. So you could, whoever this new person is that comes into your life, it could lead to a long-term commitment, maybe even marriage with this hair font right here. This can signify marriage as, marriage, as well as following your own beliefs, all right? Listening to your inner guide. Um, and I think many of you are just letting something end you're no longer going to stay there we have nine 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 nines are about it's a time for closure okay it's a sign to move on when you see nine 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 if you see nine 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 anywhere it's a sign that you are being given from above that it is time to move on look at it as an exciting new opportunity that is practical, stable, and secure, 
okay? There's no, you've put in all that you can put in into something, okay? And now it's time to move on. There's no need of staying stuck in a situation that isn't bringing um, happiness, okay? Um, so I think that many of you are moving on from something, and, but it's much more positive. You're grateful. I think you're moving away from negativity. That's what it is. Or moving away from something that no longer serves you. I think, see that you're about to take a risk, or you are taking a risk, or you have taken a risk. You're, taking, you're starting something brand new with faith and trust. And for many of you, I think there's an unexpected choice either here now in your heart or on your mind or coming in that is not anything that you expected to happen. So we have some unexpected feelings here. That's what I'm saying. Um, I, I see that you really need to act on your hunches, okay? You really do. Don't deny them with, with this uh, page of wands and the Hierophant. This is act on your hunches. Act now. And this is follow your own path. Don't listen to anybody else. Really, really listen to what your intuition is saying. Hold on a minute. Okay, hold on a minute. That's what he's saying. Hold on. Are you listening? That's what he's saying with his hand is up. Okay. Um... I think that there, it's the end of a difficult situation for you and I feel like many of you are feeling more at peace and more grateful for all that you have right now in your life, all right? I feel like whatever this new love is, it could happen out of the blue. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen, you know, out of the blue, okay? Or this could be a resurgence of a relationship. It could be. For some of you, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people, this is a new love or a resurgence of a relationship. But because the fool is right next to it, I tend to believe that it's brand new. Usually when the fool comes out, you don't have any experience in a situation. You've never dealt with anything like this before. Okay? And you're going to have to move forward with faith and trust. Okay? And, and when the lover's card comes out, it's, it's not your usual. It's not your usual. So it's, that's why it's so unexpected because you never thought that this would happen. You never thought you would be attracted to this person or whatever the case may be. I'm going to start shuffling while I am talking. But I feel like many of you, your life is beginning to feel more at peace. All right. I think there was a period of depression that you guys had gone through, but you have overcome it. And I think that your confidence is coming back. I think there was a lack of self-confidence for a little while, but I think it's coming back. You may have been feeling depressed, but I think you persevered through the depression and it's over now. Okay. I'm just going to keep shuffling here. Um, look at that. The fool just jumped out again. And this is new. It just clarified. Remember I said it. T I tend to believe it's new. It's new. This is a new love. Okay. That's what it is. But something could be blocking you because the hair they all they all mean so many things the hair font can also signify a blockage and this can say that you need to act on your hunches it also can be like a dare the page of wands it's like a dare do you dare to do this are you dare to take do you dare to take a risk and jump into something that you have no expertise or experience in do you dare to do that that's what this card is saying. Could lead to a, a commitment. This is for Scorpio. All right. So meant for many of you, there's a new love interest. I just have to tell you that. Not for this is not for everybody. For many of you, there is a new love interest. Okay, for many of you, it is very practical, stable, and secure to you. All right, it feels like you know this person is very family oriented. Okay, 
and I feel like for some of you there's children at play and and part of your decision you know has to do with your children I mean we, we have this, these pages here so pages represent children all right um, you had a victory of some sort, and I'm not sure what that is, but that Six of Wands is a victory. It's also about self-respect and recognition. You recognizing your worth. You having respect for yourself, okay? I feel like that you've been through a period, because the depression is here, this Nine of uh, Swords. You've been through a period of feeling down, feeling at, down and out, feeling sad, feeling anguished, feeling depressed, feeling scared. And now you have overcame that with the Nine of Wands. You've overcame that and now you are starting to bring your self, your self-confidence and your self-worth and your self-respect back. Okay, look at this. We have another nine. Now we have four nines. One door is closing. Nines are about closure. A door is closing and there is no doubt about it. And you must accept that. This is the King of Swords, even if it hurts. The King of Swords is very direct. He offers the direct, honest truth. Okay? Brings you clarity. All right? So I believe that you are receiving the clarity through your inner guide, okay, that you have been asking for. And I think that inner guide is telling you that you need to start a new journey with these two zeros. It's the beginning of a new journey. So you, many of you are about to start something new if you haven't already. And for some of you, it includes a new love. This person is not your usual type. Remember that. I'm leaning towards a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's what we have most here. We have it all over. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Taurus. Okay? It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Doesn't have to be that sign because it really can be any sign. Just saying that is pretty prominent here. Um, we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. We also have Gemini again. Um, we do have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius right here. But this is a, this right here is almost like a dare. Act on your hunches. I in this person, I mean, okay, this this um, page of wands is in between this page of pentacles and this depression. Okay, so like I said, we have three pages: page, page, page. Pages are immaturity. Okay, they're also very young energies. Somebody who doesn't have the experience, a lot of experience, okay? Um, so like I said, this some of you that you could be having, children could be in the picture, okay? They could be affecting your decisions, all right? Um, many of you are finally getting your life back on track, okay? After a period of fear, doubt, um, anguish and depression. I think that is dissipating and I think that a door has been closed which has made you feel more confident, made you feel more secure. All right and now you're ready to start a new phase of your life and this is a new one. Okay this is a brand new one where, where you don't have any expertise. You don't have any experience in this next phase. With these the, you have the fool twice, two different decks. This is starting something new where you don't have any experience you have to take a leap of the only the only way to start this new journey is with faith okay so this is for november 13th through november 19th for scorpio i i feel like um there's absolutely a door that is closing there's a door that is closing that only brought you depression Okay, and I don't know what that door is. Whatever door this was, it only brought you depression. And that door is closing. And you are about to start the beginning of a brand new journey where you don't have a lot of experience in. I think it's with somebody new or a new thought. It could, if it's not a new person, it could be a new outlook. Okay. It, even, it could be a brand new outlook. It could be, I honestly have to tell you how I feel, so I'm going to. 
I think that for many of you, it is a new person, okay? Because this lover's card is a unexpected choice in love with somebody that you didn't expect. You had your heart set on somebody else, but this person came into the picture and changed things up, okay? So I don't know who this is for, but it is for somebody. And like I said, this may not resonate with you because it's not a private reading. All right, I'm going to get you three of these angel romance cards because that's what we're doing. Perhaps you're unaware of the upcoming changes. Sometimes the fool means that, that you are unaware that this is even going to happen. You could be unaware that this new person is going to enter your life. You may not even know it yet. Time is fluid. This could happen in January, even though this is the for the week of November 13th through 19th. Okay, I see that there's a, you know, there's a change, a, a need to start something over that you're going to have to take a leap of faith, you know, because you aren't going to have expertise. It's not something you have any experience in. So that's interesting, huh? But you're being urged to not quit, to move forward, to do it, okay? To do it. I think the storm is over. <laughs> right over the lover's card. That's this this says it. Keep because remember I said it's not your usual type. Keep an open mind. Oh my gosh, this is I love it. I love it. Your soulmate may differ from your usual typing expectations. Thank you, God, angels, spirits, and universe. I'm telling you what, they do this for me daily. I already have told you this multiple times in this reading. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations, you guys. I think you sh saw me shuffle cards. Oh, my God. Could lead to a commitment. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I've told you this too. This is the romance of a lifetime. And this was where I was getting commitment from. And marriage, remember at the beginning I said a commitment in marriage? True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Have faith that it is. Oh my goodness, you want to see it? Do you want to see it? Passion. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. When you start this new chapter, like I said, time is fluid. And this is not for everybody. When you start this new chapter, your heart will be singing with joy. And it will lead to wish fulfillment. And it's probably a romance of a lifetime. And this person is not your usual type. I've already told you that. I've already told you it with these cards anyway. I already have. So. Uh, and at the bottom of the deck, I, and I didn't do this for Taurus, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you have these feelings for somebody that you did not expect because they're not your usual type, go ahead. See what happens. Maybe you're thinking about proposing because I see a marriage here, but you're afraid of rejection. I don't know. This is for hundreds and thousands of people. Anyway, this is for the sign of Scorpio for November 13th through November 19th. And I do need to remind you that time is fluid. Okay, so this could go on for weeks. This might not happen for a few more weeks. But I see that it's most prominent during this week, okay? 
So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Um, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I will talk to you next week. And that's why you catch me on my Let's Talk episodes at night, which can be kind of, you know, filthy. But we won't go there. Talk to you later.